My wife wanted me to come, but I'm getting some new ideas and having a good time. The Phil and Holmes Show is 30 years old this year, so here's a look at what's changed since 1981. Floral prints have been replaced by solid colors, and those wallpaper borders are out. Crown molding is in. Welcome back to our preview of the 30th anniversary Philadelphia Home Show. All right, Karen, I think it's suffice to say that we spend a lot of our lives dreaming and thinking about moving into bigger and better spaces. We sure do, but you're about to meet one suburban homeowner who went from tens of thousands of square feet to a lot, <laughs> a lot less. All because he wanted a little pad in the city. Well, I was uh, born in Philadelphia and uh, grew up in the suburbs from when I was five years old. And when I had the opportunity to buy a small place here, I did. And uh, as you can see, it's very small. Try less than 500 square feet. That meant the whole space had to be carefully thought out. Enter closet and storage concepts. They came up with an old idea, the Murphy bed. The bed is behind the doors. You just pull the handles and there's the bed. This custom piece of furniture takes up the whole wall and it includes several other functions. So it was the bed, it was the night table, he needed storage, and then he also has a collection of tequila that he wanted to have displayed. Other space-saving ideas? I had a sofa that was designed to fit specifically in this corner. I had the TV and stereo system designed to fit on a specific wall. Add a basic kitchen. photo dining table before, a built-in office area, and Ted's ready for anything. I spend a couple nights a week here during the week and a couple of weekends a month. I love this city and it's a great place to play. From a small urban space to a closet almost the size of Ted's whole apartment, this is one suburban working mom's fantasy fulfilled. What's great about designing the ultimate closet is sky's the limit. This was originally two closets. We took the center wall down, we made it into one huge closet. And it gave us the ability to give her her side and then his side with an island in the middle. But the big space takes just as much planning as Ted's studio. We count everything. We take a whole wardrobe analysis and we try to figure out how much short hanging they're gonna need, how much medium hanging they're gonna need, long hanging, shoes, drawers, accessories, jewelry, belts, ties, whatever it is. And this happy couple seem to have no trouble filling it up. She loves fashion. She loves, loves, loves shoes. She's got things from very casual to formal. He's got a lot of clothing and he's also very neat. This definitely kept both of them very, very neat and organized. 